If a person goes to hell, doesn't the devil win? No, because hell is the devil's punishment. Satan has never been to hell. Hell is not his headquarters. Satan is the prince of the power of the air. He's somewhere in this universe. He will not be in hell until the last judgment, when Jesus cast him into the lake of burning sulfur. So the devil doesn't win if somebody goes to hell. But it's fair to ask, doesn't God lose? This is a hard question and something we can't entirely answer because we're talking about something connected to the fall. The fall is the one part of God's story which doesn't make sense. It's not supposed to make sense. It's the fall. Whatever is connected to the fall, Adam's rebellion, the existence of hell, why is there evil? If you could explain any of these questions, what you're talking about would no longer be evil. You would put your arms around it and make sense of it. You're not supposed to make sense of evil. It's part of the fall. It's like a misshaped jigsaw piece puzzle. You can't cram it in. So we can't completely solve the, the question, but here's what we can say. Creation, God made this world good. The fall, it's all been shattered by our sin. Redemption, God wants it all back. So what about those who go to hell? How does God restore all things if hell is real and is populated with some people? Hell must be outside of this good creation. It's where people go who reject God and reject the, the humans that God made them to be. Hell is no longer a part of God's good world. And it's so unnecessary. The everlasting choice is not between heaven or hell, but hell or here. Would you like to avoid hell? And would you like to live here with Jesus and all of God's people who put their faith in him? Then turn from your sin and put all your weight on Jesus. And this world will one day be yours. Jesus said the meek will inherit the earth. That's not a metaphor. He meant that literally. We are heirs of God. What does our Father own? This place. Put your faith in Jesus. You escape hell and you get the world back. Forever. And all of the splendor that God has always intended for it. Put your faith in Christ, and someday this place will belong to you. <laughs>